All right, so a school system employee's MacBook is running really slow and it's from 2010. Now, one of the things I know about this is it has a mechanical drive. So what I'm going to do is take the mechanical drive out and I'm gonna put in an 860 Evo SSD. Now that should greatly uh, speed up everything on the MacBook and that probably will have the greatest impact. Now, another thing that's important is RAM. So there was only four gigs of RAM so what we're gonna do is upgrade the RAM to eight gigs of um, RAM. That'll allow the Mac to run more programs at once and give this person a lot of flexibility with using the laptop. The last thing is the battery. So the battery is also not working as well and it's dying really quick. So hopefully this replacement battery will make the MacBook run really well. Now after I install all these components, I'm also gonna install a fresh, clean OS or Mac OS install. So let's get started. The first thing is you gotta flip it over. And these screws are actually kinda nice because they're only just regular Phillips screws. So just take your screwdriver and work around the Mac. You will just need to remove 10 screws at this time. All right, that should do it. Now you're gonna pull back on the back of the plate and lift up. Now, one of the things I like to do while I'm inside the computer is kind of clean everything off so it's uh, nice and clean inside. All right, now the three components I'm gonna replace are the battery, the RAM, and then the mechanical hard drive. Now you're gonna to wanna to immediately take your pry tool and you wanna come right over to here where you see the battery connection and you kinda of just wanna work that connection loose. You gotta be careful, oh, there we go. Now that's loose, I've got this screw and this screw which is actually a Y0. So I'm gonna take that Y0 and take that out. And I should be good to go. Battery should pull up and out. So that's the old battery. Let's put the new battery in. Now everything looks kind of okay in here, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. All right, that's pretty nice. They give you the kit for it. That's nice. And we got our new battery. Good. Everything looks like it's correct. I'm gonna seat it in. Oh, before I seat it in, I might as well go ahead and take that out first. So I'm gonna pull on the clips. And they should pull right out. There's the old memory. And let's go ahead and install the new memory. at an angle, like so, until it clicks. We're gonna go down at an angle, like so. So now we have eight gigs of RAM. All right, now let's put that new battery in. There we go. All right. All right, now you're gonna put your screws back in. The long one is on the right and the short one is on the left and you wanna put the cable back on as well. Now before you can install your SSD drive, you have to go and download the OSX version you want to install on your MacBook. Now I chose El Capitan uh, for this older Mac since it is so old. I felt that this would be a safe bet instead of going to High Sierra or Mojave. So what you're going to do is basically go to the link in the description below which will take you to where you see in the video and you're going to download El Capitan uh, to your MacBook. Now you're basically downloading the operating system so that you can create a boot drive so when we install the SSD you can easily use that boot drive to install El Capitan onto the new drive. You're going to agree to the terms below and then start the download process. This is your first step before we get to the point where you can install the SSD onto the computer. 
Once you have downloaded the operating system, what you're going to do is you're actually going to put your USB drive in the laptop and you're going to go to your disk utility. You're going to want to click on your USB drive and you're going to want to format it to be Mac OS journaled. And once you perform that, then you can go to the next step, which I'm going to show you in the next part of the video. I found an awesome terminal script that will auto start the um, boot drive process for you. What you're going to want to do is have your formatted USB drive in your computer and copy the script that I have in the description below in this video and paste it into the terminal. It'll automatically start the process and create the boot drive for your MacBook to install El Capitan. Now you're going to turn off your MacBook after creating the USB boot drive and I left the back plate off that way this was an easier process and I removed the old drive and put in the blank SSD drive. And then what you're going to want to do after you put uh, the SSD drive in, take some double-sided sticky tape uh, and you're going to want to cut off a little piece and put it in the middle or the top left corner of the back of the SSD. This way the SSD drive will not move around, you won't hear any noises when you're taking your laptop from place to place and it'll keep everything secure. So you'll put the tape on the back of the drive and push down firmly so the SSD drive is in place. Now you could remove the battery to be safe, I did not. Next you will put all the screws back in place and remember the larger screws go in the top part of the MacBook. Alright, one of the last steps is now to take that USB boot drive that you created which has El Capitan on it and you're going to take the USB drive and put it into the USB slot on your MacBook. What you're going to want to do is turn the MacBook Pro on, make sure you have the charger connected to your MacBook during this whole process so the battery doesn't die, and you're going to hold the Alt or Option key down. Now it takes a few minutes, um, but while holding the key down, just be patient, you'll see something pop up on the screen that will let you uh, basically select boot off the USB drive. And in a few seconds you should see it, and there it is. You'll click on the arrow, and you'll start the process of installing El Capitan. The install instructions will pop up and please choose the language that works for you. Now the very first thing that you need to do is click on disk utility. You need to format the new drive so the MacBook will accept the drive. You're going to click on the drive that you installed and then you're going to actually click erase to format the drive. Now when you click erase to format it, you want to make sure that you choose extended journaled. That way the MacBook will accept the drive and allow you to install the new operating system. Now you have to name the drive something, so I name it main just so I can find it when I go to the next step. So it'll quickly format the drive and then all you have to do is click done and close out the disk utility. Now you want to go to install OS X and go continue and agree and agree again and then you're going to click that main drive so that it'll install OS X El Capitan onto your MacBook. Now this process takes about an hour uh, and it's not too bad. Now I skipped over the beginning steps that you do to set up your Mac. They're self-explanatory but just wanted to hide some of the user information for the person I'm doing this for. Now I just want to show you that the 8 gigs of RAM are accepted and that it installed perfectly. Also, I'll show you in the storage that the 240 gig SSD drive is installed correctly and you have 240 gigs to use. Now with the MacBook completely off, you'll turn it on and I'll show you how fast it now works. Now the MacBook will boot up within about 20 to 30 seconds, which is a huge improvement over the mechanical drive, which sometimes took two to three minutes to start up. So the computer is much faster now, everything runs faster on the computer, and there's enough RAM for multiple applications to be run at the same time. So if you want to have your MacBook have new life, I suggest installing an SSD into the computer and adding more RAM, and your computer will be relevant in 2018, and you'll save yourself a lot of money, since you won't have to buy a new computer, and your MacBook is back to running the way it should be when it was first bought. I hope you enjoyed the video.